Hey my friends, Late Boy Scout here with another paracord bracelet tutorial based on the Ripcord Sinnet, which I think, as I've said before, is the awesomest paracord bracelet option. Why? Because it comes apart so easily and you can take advantage of that emergency cord in a heartbeat, pretty much. Can this be improved upon? I tried to improve on it with the Ripcord Sinnet Plus, and I think I may have improved on it just a little bit more with what I call the Ripcord Super Sinnet. A little more complicated to make and weave than the Sinnet Plus or the original Ripcord Sinnet, but I'm going to show you how I came up with this. Now, it may be a little ugly and funny looking, but if that's not your concern, if you want the most paracord you can get on your wrist in this fashion with this kind of a ripcord pull apart knot, well, this is the best that I've come up with so far. And I'm going to show you how to make this right now. Take your paracord, whatever length you want it to be. This is around 10 to 15 feet of Coyote Tan. And I folded it in half. Here's a halfway point right here. We begin this sinnet the same way we have every other version of it, by twisting this around like so and creating that hoop. Bringing this side up through there, like that and cinching this down a bit. Once again, as I said before in previous videos, you want to create a hoop here that's going to be large enough but also small enough so that the overhand knot can create a nice clasp when you reach the end of the bracelet. From this stage, you take this end of the cord, bring it through like so, and then cinch this down right here by pulling on that end. Once again, make sure that your hole is the right size. From this stage, we take this side of the cord and we begin much like we did the other version of the Senate. Wrap it around behind itself like so, then pass a loop straight through it like this. And of course, get that cinched up nice and tight. For the Ripcord Senate Plus, what we did at this stage, we brought this down, and then we brought a hoop through that hole, like so. Then we pulled this string down, like that, and this end up, like so. And that's where we stopped before setting this hoop through there. But this is the Ripcord Super Senate. We're not stopping yet. We're going to do the same thing we just did. Feed more through that hoop and cinch it up the same way we did before. Look good? Ready to pass that through? Nope. One more. pull this down a little bit and we send another hoop through it. Then cinch it back up this way here. Now, with three of those hoops going on, we're finally ready to pass this through that hoop right there and of course, cinch it down. Nice and tight, good. Ready to do the opposite side. Of course, it's a mirror image of what we just did over there. A little obnoxious, I know. But this is the most cord I can imagine adding to this bracelet. Could it go any further? Well, I tried but I didn't really like the result. I'm going too fast for you. As I said before, this is just a mirror image of what we did on the other side. So I don't get too worried.
created our three hoops there, three knots, three slip knots I should say. Now let's pass this hoop through that one. Now, here's the kind of tricky part, as if all that wasn't tricky enough. We don't have room to do the exact same thing we just did on the next row up. So here's what we do instead. We revert back to the original version of the ripcord sinnet for the second tier. And here's what I mean by that. We do one hoop like so, pass this through it, cinch it up, and we are done with that side. So let's pass it through this hoop and cinch it up. You might be asking, why didn't you just do all those extra hoops and extra slip knots? Well, there just isn't room. <laughs> there really is not room for it. I learned with the Ripcord Senate Plus that a lot of space opens up between each tier when you add slip knots to each end. So what I've discovered is what I need to do is create those three slip knots there and then in the next tier just one. And then three, just one, three, just one. Which is what we're doing here. So we've cinched this down. On the opposite side, we're going to do the same thing. We've got that nice and tight. We'll pass it through the opposite hoop. And that's the first and second tier. Let's begin the third, which is going to look just like the first. Alright, we finished the three slip knots on that side, so let's pass this through the opposite hoop and cinch it down. This can get messy if you don't try to keep things flat and tight. Opposite side, we do exactly a mirror image of what we just did on that side. Creating my extra slip knots now. One more. We've got our three slip knots. So let's pass that through the opposite hoop cinch it down. So that was tier three. Built the same as tier one. Which means we need to go back to the way tier two was built for tier four. I hope you're beginning to see the pattern here. Every other tier has those three slip knots on it, while the tier we skipped has just one. You take this bracelet to the length you want it to be. This one, for instance, wraps all the way around my wrist, like so. 
and you can have a large amount of paracord ready to go in the same ripcord fashion as the original ripcord sinnet. When you're ready to tie it off, you do it the same way we have the other sinnets, by bringing a loop up on this side, passing it through the opposite loop, cinching that opposite loop down on top of it, bringing a live cord through there, not a loop, a full cord, cinching that down, and then as we have before, create a nice little overhand knot. And when your emergency comes, you simply untie that overhand knot, pull this cord through there, and then pull both sides. Wow, that's a lot of cord. That was probably five feet that I just undid just then. Well, there you go, guys. There's my variation of the Ripcord Sinnet, what I like to call the Ripcord Super Sinnet. I'm the late Boy Scout. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.